Hi everybody, this is Erica Sable. Welcome back. So today I'm going to do my first demo impressions. I've done it in a really long time. I can't remember the last time I did a preview like this. But I had a chance to be able to check out Nier Automata and its demo that's now on the PS4. And I had a really great time with it. I've been a really big fan of Nier for a while now. And I really appreciate Yokotaro's works. Even if sometimes they are extremely flawed, like the Dragon Guard series, and even Nier as well. Uh, but I have a lot of things I want to say about Nier Automata, and I wanted to share that with you today. So let's get started. Back in 2010, when now defunct developer Kavya made Nier, a spin off to the Dragon Guard series, we were taken on a melancholic journey about a man bent on saving his sick daughter Yona from an illness known as the Black Scrawl. The game established a strange sense of wonder thanks to its storytelling by prolific creator Yokotaro, breathtaking music by the equally prolific Kaichi Okabe, as well as the meandering game mechanics. This is one of those games that has definitely gotten better with age. Set thousands of years after the events of the original Nier, considering there were alternative versions of the game, Nier Automata puts players in the role of a combat android from the Yura units on a now post-apocalyptic Earth. While very little story is unveiled in this unsurprisingly cryptic demo, we do however get a chance to explore the game's familiar yet polished gameplay thanks to Platinum Games. Always ambitious and meticulous in the way they fashion their gameplay, Platinum Games has truly outdone themselves here by taking an existing set of game mechanics and making them act and feel more accessible, yet still full of challenge. Nier has always fascinated me with its nods to other games and gameplay genres. Splashes of Sin and Punishment, Liberation Maiden, Contra Hardcore, as well as various other RPGs and shmups come to mind when I think about this game. I really, really love that aspect of it. And I found the gameplay to be very progressive in nature, even if people at the time deemed this game to have a bit of an identity crisis. Nier in concept was an incredible experience, but I can't quite say the same of its overall presentation. The game could totally use a remaster and wasn't as polished as it truly deserved to be, which is exactly why a developer like Platinum Games, known for games like Bayonetta, Mad World, Vanquish, and Metal Gear Revengeance, is the perfect company to fine tune an oftentimes misunderstood game. While it definitely took some time getting used to the meandering combat once again, the transition from one game mechanic to the next was far more seamless and inviting. Platinum Games has a special way of entrancing you in its gameplay, as though you were being immersed in a story or music. It's that accessible know-how that has helped them stand out amongst the crowd and build their reputation. Taro has always had a knack for the unconventional, so while we won't have a full scope of Nier Automata till March 7th, of course unless you've been playing an import copy which does include English subtitles apparently, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does come up with for this release. Rich with lore and complex in scope, I'm sure. I really hope you enjoyed my impressions of Nier Automata. This was a really great demo with really great presentation. I'm very impressed with the game and I hope that if you tried out the demo, you'll leave your comments below or if you plan to, I highly recommend you do. Now the game is going to be coming out next Tuesday, March 7th. I definitely recommend checking it out. It's going to be coming out on PS4 and then it will later come out on PC, which I'm very much looking forward to as well. That'll give me a chance to be able to stream it, but for now, you will be seeing a review of the game very soon, I'm sure. I mean, it is going to be a bit of a lengthy experience, especially getting all those endings that Yokotaro is known for, but uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, please, everybody, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all later, okay? Peace.